Why I was praying before this recording, the Holy Spirit gave me word of knowledge concerning some of my listener. The Lord told me that someone there is listening to me. The Lord told me that He's going to single you out for a major breakthrough in your family. And that will certainly happen. We are itching to hear your testimony. Hear this other word of knowledge that the Lord has given me for someone there also listening to me. The Lord told me that by the time I describe it, you will know it's talking about you. It has happened up to twice now that when you woke up from your sleep, you discover that there were some strange marks on your body, like incisions. And ever since then, you have been getting very sickly. I also want to pray for you. Father in heaven, in the name that is above every other name, I do plead the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ upon this person. Let the person be instantly delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. There is another person there that the Lord has given me revelation concerning your life. And the Lord said, by the time I will say it, you will understand it. You do experience that at times, even within your house, and at other times is why you are walking by the roadside, cobwebs come over your face. Cobwebs come over your face. And any time you experience this, you experience that your expectation does not come to pass. That is not a good experience. It's an experience of the attack of the spirits of witchcraft. I want to pray for you also. I take authority in the name that is above every other name, even in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I do arrest and I do bind every attacks of cobwebs, attacks of witchcraft over your life. I arrest and I bind them. I demand them to be completely destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wow. The Lord just mentioned a name in my ears. And the name is the name of a lady. Deborah is your name. Deborah is your name. You are quite advanced in age. You are a single lady. And this has been the peculiar, strange experience you have been having. You find that it is the wrong men that come to ask for your hand in marriage. Most of the time, there are men that are married. And at other times, there are men that only want to take you to bed. They are never serious to get you married. I want to pray for you, Deborah, and every other lady that falls into the experience of the category I've just mentioned. After listening to this message, give a chat, give a call, and I want to minister further to you. I take authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that every spell working against your marital life, they are arrested, they are bound, they are destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wow. This is Charles Adebola's Ministries. And today I want to begin a series of teaching that I know the Lord is going to use to bless you and change things in your life. And I've titled it, Why You Need to Pray. Why You Need to Pray. God is about to do a new thing in your life and things will actually turn around in Jesus' mighty name. The first reason why you need to pray is because the spiritual controls the physical. There's the spiritual world. There is the world where God Almighty dwells with his angels. And in this spiritual realm, there is the devil and the fallen angels, demons. It is from this spiritual realm that they control the physical things that happens on earth. It is from this spiritual realm that they control the physical things that happens in the lives of individuals, in the lives of families, 
in the lives of nations. And so, that is one reason why you need to pray. Take, for instance, in the case of Job in the Bible, before the calamity, before the tragedies that befell Job happened, there was a discussion in the spirit realm. And from there, it was from there, things began to happen neg negatively in the life of Job. You can see that in Job chapter 1 from verse 6. He says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Did you hear that? That is the angels of the Lord that came before the Almighty God to present themselves before the Almighty God. And Satan also came. Now listen to verse 7. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. So it was God that began the discussion. And God asked Satan, Satan, where are you coming from? And Satan said, he was going to and fro in the earth. Like somebody said, Satan has no home address. It is when someone gives the devil a chance, he will have access into that person's life. May the devil not have access into your life in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord just mentioned a name in my ears. Kingsley is your name. And the Lord told me that you are under a strong addiction. Addiction to alcohol. Addiction to pornography. Kingsley, I want to pray for you. Where you are, open your hands. I take authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, that whatsoever thing I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thing I lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Every spirit of addiction to alcohol and pornography in your life, they are arrested, they are bound, they are destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Indeed, the Lord told me that as several other people that are under one addiction or the other. Some people are under addiction to telling lies, to anger, to destructive habits. If you fall into that category, after today's audio message, after today's virtual message, give me a chat. I'm going to give you the phone number whereby you can reach me. Now, let's continue the message under the title, Why You Need to Pray. And we are considering the fact that the spiritual controls the physical. And we are seeing the typical example of Job. Job chapter 1 and now verse 8. And the Lord said unto Satan, As thou consider my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and eschewed evil. Here it was the Almighty God telling Satan, Have you taken note of Job? Job happened to be somebody that is perfect, somebody living holy life, somebody committed to God, somebody that fears God. The Lord God spoke to me. Someone there is listening to me, and you have been having a very depressing experience. The Lord told me about you that you actually love Him. But things have not been working out the way you desire. You work so hard, you labor so hard, and then the Lord told me you pray and fast before a little result comes into your hand, comparing to the result that come into the hands of your colleague. But as the Lord God of Israel lives, if I be the servant of the Lord, with this tongue of mine that God has placed his authority, I do decree that from now, things will turn around for you in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm still in Job chapter 1, verse, eight, verse 9. It says, Then Satan answered the Lord and said, 
does Job fear God for not? Verse eleven, verse ten. As thou, as thou, as not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side. Thou hast blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land. So God was telling Job. Oh, he was that God was telling. I mean, Satan was telling God about Job that look, God, you are the one that have made a hedge around Job. You have protected Job. You have protected his house. You have protected everything on his uh, on his side, and you have seen to it that Job is prospering. Now look at verse eleven. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he has, and he will cause thee. To thy face. So Satan was telling God, God, come against your servant Job. Put your hand against him, and you will find that Job will cause you to the face. Oh no. The Lord just told me about somebody there listening to me, and hear the word of knowledge the Lord gave me concerning you. The Lord said it's been precisely for about three years now. Things have not been working out the way you desired. Indeed, you are out of job and your business is not experiencing patronage. Things have been quite very difficult even for you to eat. Indeed, you are eating from hand to mouth. You have a lot of debt and you are beginning to be frustrated. The Lord said I should encourage you. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Cheer up, joy will come in the morning. I will want to pray further with you. I will give you the phone number whereby you can call me and you can even add me on WhatsApp. Then I will pray further for you. We are still talking about the fact that the spiritual controls the physical. And we are seeing the extreme of the life of Job. And let us continue. Job chapter 1 verse 12. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy hand. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Did you hear that? So before the calamity, before the tragedy that befell Job happened to him, there was a discussion between the Almighty God and Satan in heaven, in the spirit realm. So that has established whatever you are passing through today, it is not ordinary. Whatever you are experiencing today regarding your spiritual life, whatever you are experiencing today, especially in the areas of your dreams, whether you are experiencing you have yourself eating in your dreams, you have yourself experiencing sexual assault in dreams, they are not ordinary. They are extreme of the things that are happening in the spirit realm. Whatever you are experiencing today in your marital life, that is, you don't have responsible suitor asking for your hand in marriage, or you are married, but you are not experiencing harmony, you are not experiencing fruitfulness in your marriage, it is not ordinary. Whatever is taking place in your businesses, in your finances, in your health, they are being decided and determined in the spirit realm and this is one reason why you must take your prayer life very very seriously but as the lord god of israel leaves things will have it turn around in your life in jesus mighty name another scripture i want to show you that confirms the fact that the spiritual controls the physical is in the book of exodus and that was when when Moses told Joshua to get some soldiers and go to fight the Amalekite. We say that in Exodus chapter 4, 17 from verse 9. He says, And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose you out men and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. And so Joshua did as Moses had said unto him, and fought with them. And Moses and Aaron and Hog went to the top of the hill. Did you hear that? 
why Joshua arranged soldiers to fight with the Amalek, Moses, Aaron, and Hog. They went to the hill. They went with the rod of God in their hands. Now verse 10. So Joshua did as Moses had said unto him, and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hog went to the top of the mountain. Now take note of verse 11. And it came to pass, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Did you see that? When Moses held up his hand, his hand that had the rod of God in his hand, the children of Israel prevailed. But when Moses let down that rod, the enemy prevailed. That tells you the reason why you must take your prayer life seriously. When you take your prayer life seriously, you will be experiencing answers to prayers. You will be experiencing breakthrough. You will be experiencing victory. That will be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh no, the Holy Spirit has just given me a word of knowledge again concerning an elderly mother listening to me. The Lord said you have been a single parent and you are the one that single-handedly trained up your children. Your children are now grown up and then some of them are well to do. They are well placed in life. But your children are against you. They have a suspicion that you are their undoing in life. I want to pray for you. The Almighty God will intervene in your relationship with your children. Every walking of the enemy, bringing you and your children at loggerhead. I arrest them and I bind them. I rebook them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now listen to this. I want to counsel you. I want to pray for you more on one to one. You can add me on your WhatsApp with this number. And let me read it out. Take note of it. You can add me. And uh, there you can give me a chat narrating your situation. Plus 234-905927. Zero zero three zero again plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. This other number is for you to reach me directly for prayers and canceling plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four again plus two three four eight zero Six double three one nine three six four. Let me pray for you. I do decree, as the Lord God of Israel lives, if I be a prophet of the Lord, with this tongue of mine that I used to pray, I pray over your life. The Lord will give you pleasant surprise. The Lord will grant the desires of your heart. The Lord will lay hands upon you. Today will be the best day of your life. In Jesus' mighty name, remain blessed in Jesus' name.